Hello, hello, everybody. As we slowly... There we go. Activate the game. It has been a bit since I have streamed, because, uh, brain. But I got the urge, so we're going to continue my almost abandoned Assassin's Creed series playthrough. In which, last time, I think it was actually uh, around December last year, that we beat Assassin's Creed Revelations. And I remember liking that one for the entire thing. I think it was like Assassin's Creed 1 I liked despite its clunkiness. Then Assassin's Creed 2 I liked until like chapter, like memory sequence 12 and 13, which were apparently post-launch for some reason. And I could only swear were like made by the B team. Like because memory sequence 13 is like the worst memory sequence I have ever played in an Assassin's Creed game. Ever. <laughs> At all. Then Brotherhood felt very clunky and weird and stupid. And I personally, like, believe that Assassin's Creed Brotherhood was, oh no, Revelations is taking too long to make. We need to have, like, an interquel. And it was made by the B team and was terrible in a lot of ways. And the story was kind of middling in a lot of ways. To the point that I am, like, 90% certain that the entirety of, like, Brotherhood's story of, like, oh, we've got to find the Apple of Eden, and then ends with Desmond stabbing Lucy. I am 90% certain that was supposed to be, like, Revelation's beginning, and then they just chopped that off and made that the entire thing. Like, I don't know. Revelations was just such a step up from Brotherhood in so many different ways that I'm just like, I can't reconcile them. They are very weird and sweet. But, either way, I remember liking Revelations a lot, so. <laughs> Brotherhood definitely has middle movie and trilogy syndrome where it's completely its own thing with its themes. Maybe. It just, like, on the technological side, felt like a weird thing taking some things from Revelations... But that's in the past. I beat Revelations last year. It was a lot of fun. And then now I figured, why not let us continue with Assassin's Creed 3? It is remastered version because Ubisoft was mean and took the original 3 off the storefront before I could get the Evil King Washington DLC on the original 3. So remastered it is, I suppose. At least I get liberation with the deal, so eh. But I heard that, like, the remaster was in some ways a downgrade and didn't really remaster all that much, but who knows? So long as it doesn't, like, jump out of being like, ah, evil, things shouldn't be terrible. Uh, and this also marks a point in my Assassin's Creed journey in which all the other Assassin's Creed that I have streamed up until now, 1, 2, Brotherhood Revelations, I had played some level of it before. Not so with Assassin's Creed 3. I do not believe I have played Assassin's Creed 3 at all. So, let us jump in and see what this age of Assassin's Creed has in store for us. We're not going to be Desmond. If I remember correctly, this is, like, his second to last game? I forget. I just know that they drop poor Desmond at some point. It used to be when people talked about the end of the world, we locked them up. Hello, John Delancey. Sometimes both. But we never took them seriously. Maybe we should have. Interesting. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Better to start at the beginning with the abduction of Desmond Miles, my son. This boy had no ambition, no direction, no plans for the future. What he did have was a heritage, one he chose to deny. It nearly cost him his life. A nice recap so far. A nice Desmond model. Those who took him believed he could help them find A nice Animus 1.0 model. One of several artifacts we call pieces of Eden. Bits of ancient technology scattered across the globe. Some hidden. Some found, all of them dangerous. Most are held by a single group, 
the same group that now had Desmond. You know them as Abstergo Industries. We know them as the Templars. Nice. As the enemy. We've been fighting them for thousands of years. Even longer if you believe the stories of their origins. Altair, my buddy! After all, I've seen the truth. That's the beauty and the horror of the Animus. A device that allows us to enter and experience the lives of our ancestors. It holds the power to change everything. To show us history the way it really happened. Up until its creation, to the victor when the spoils went to the truth. We're trying to fix that. To free minds and bodies both. But there's only so much that we can do. And the Templars have the upper hand these days. But something larger than the Assassins and Templars is approaching. Yeah, I like that. All of them. Solar Diddly D, the ancient holograms warned us about. I, for I almost forgot about that. In the end, it all comes down to him. To Desmond. Through the Animus, he discovered its heritage, explored the lives of his ancestors, and uncovered their secrets. When that was done, he trained. He used another ancestor to provide decades of experience in the span of a few days. And now we need a third one. We think. We hope. Or not. Soon, though, soon we'll know. That ominous date fast approaches, December 21st, 2012. Forgot this played into the 2012 thing. This is where they want us to be when it does. They've been guiding us in their own fractured, frustrating way. These voices from the first civilization, the ones who came before. The ones we, I don't think I trust. Power and uncertain motives. They're the ones who made the pieces of Eden. This is where they've led him, and through him, us. He stands at the entrance to this long-lost place, armed with the knowledge of Altair and the abilities of Ezio. He holds in his hands the apple of Eden, and we stand at his side, ready to support him, <laughs> however we He holds can. in his hands the his apple that made him stab Lucy. Miles, and he has brought us to the end. And now we're here! On a foggy day, it seems. This is a bit jittery. Might have to alter the We're here. graphics. Then again, you can never tell with Ubisoft games. Maybe they're just jittery. Here we are, at the Cave of Wonders. In this lighting, Desmond looks a little weird. Let's go. We don't trust Desmond with any of the boxes. Well, I have a glow stick on my... Is it just floating? I think the glow stick is... Uh, it's uh, inserted itself into my thigh. Well, into the cave we go. Like I said, I do not believe I've ever played this game, or if I did, it was like barely the opening bit, so. I don't know, Graffiti Zone. This must be the writing of the first civilization. They too had. <laughs> How convenient. The little hole where the apple goes, it still exists. Oh, so conveniently able to be gotten to with this cave. And again, they just allow us to hold the apple. Last time we did, we stabbed a friend. I don't think we've addressed that yet. In another moment, down went Alice after it. Never once considering how in the world she was to get out again. I've never read Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> Stabbed a friend and then went into a coma. Yep. A super coma. We visited a dead guy who stuck himself into our memories. Okay, that was weird. We, we were in a dark void. <laughs> Okie dokie. Wow, we have kind of control. Where do you want me to go? What doors do you want me to open? Back into the cutscene land. I think 
we're here. Wherever here is. But is it? Okay. No, my glow stick. It is on the ground now. Why? Why did I even have the glow stick? It didn't feel like it added anything there. <laughs> glow stick on my person, and then the glow stick just did <laughs> fell off at the first opportunity. At this point, I'm just wondering why this isn't just one big long cutscene. I walk five steps, cutscene. Walk five steps, cutscene. Just have it be one cutscene. <laughs> Me walking five steps is not gameplay. <laughs> oh no, the Tesseract of Eden. <laughs> Why was that just out glowing on the floor? Those darn convenient ancient civilizations leaving the keys to their house just next to the door. <laughs> in the form of a cube. Interesting. Big glowy pillar door with like a super technology visor thing. Quick, find Sora. Son. But, okay, great. We're... Sir. Sir. We're having the bleed effect. Here we go again. And it's not even memories that we were affected by before. Do you hear us? I saw a man in a tri-corner hat. I'll beat up the temple. Drop me into the animus instead of, I don't know, making sure I was okay. You weren't in any danger. Besides, the temple appeared to be communicating with you, and I didn't want to risk severing the connection. And we trust At the temple? Until we knew what it wanted. I don't really trust Juno. Son, I... No, it's fine. I get it. And I know what I'm... Ooh, we can jump again. If I remember correctly, they took that away. I think. No idea where it is, though. Maybe. I don't know. It's been a bit since I played Revelations and, and Brotherhood. She. Juno's dead. She's talking to me. Okay, Desmond. While you were My UI in Constantinople, we picked up a software update for the Animus. Convenient. Run a couple of quick tests to make sure there aren't any major issues. It is bright as f oh hey, interesting menu design. I was gonna say it was bright as fucking. We can restart from a checkpoint. That is one thing. That is one thing that I hated Brotherhood about. Okay, because when I played Brotherhood, I got locked into uh, two annoying things. Uh, one was when a cutscene refused to end, and then I lost a bunch of gameplay progress. But another time was when I was stuck in a cutscene, that like a mini cutscene, but couldn't skip that cutscene. And uh, I, there, w if I remember correctly, there wasn't just an easy, hey, I would like to go back to a checkpoint. It was a weird thing, and I had to basically restart the entire game to get the desired effect. But hey, checkpoint! They have it, they added a checkpoint here! Nice! Yeah, because I think it was just restart memory, at least in Brotherhood. Nice! Animus database, DNA tracker, train scissor, options. Yeah, I just want to lower, like, the brightness a bit. No. Ah, brightness a bit. Just lower it a little bit, because this is a very bright place. But hey, there's a restart checkpoint! What do you need me to do? We'll start simple. Back to the marker over there. Alrighty then. Okay, that was kind of weird. Kind of funky. New, like, running parkour animations. Okay, Desmond. Let's practice climbing on these objects. Very nice. Yeah, because this is going to be, like, the first time they updated things since, like... 
Assassin's Creed 2, really. Because they really reuse things from, like, 2 to Brotherhood to Revelations, which is understandable. Free run your way through this little obstacle course. Like, no real reason to reinvent the wheel nine times out of ten. Nice, you don't have to hold A. A is just for, like, jumping. Lots of ramps, I'm noticing, for That's sliding. Right. These are optional objectives that raise your synchronization rate. <laughs> We've had them since Brotherhood, and I hope they're not as bad as Brotherhood's. On-screen instructions and kill the Pete Templars. Air assassinate, it says, but I have knockout. Played AC3 for the first time over the summer and really enjoyed the movement and protagonist. What are your expectations going in, and what do you already know about this game? I don't really know much. I just know that it's like uh, a guy with uh, some Native American heritage, and I think like like a British man heritage. I think there's something with the... I think his name is Connor. There's something about his dad. And I know next to nothing. I think... Like, I forget. Maybe something happens to Desmond at the end, but I don't... Com oh, yeah. Completely no. Yes. Like, I don't complete. Oh, up. Uh. Huh. Alright. Hold only to free run. Alright. Don't hold A. Very interesting. So, yeah, I don't know too much about this game. Except that, like, there's an evil George Washington DLC. That's basically it. Oh, because, oh, we're, like, synchronizing to, like, uh, yeah, this uh, architecture style. They're becoming buildings now. Very neat. <laughs> Big leaps. Superhero landing. Synchronization levels look good now. We should be able to build the world. Time to find out what the temple wants. Yeah, and I think this is the, oh, there was a... View progress thing. Ah, synchronize with your ancestor. Deadly performance, data encrypted. Naval? Dis okay, so there's memory sequences, of which there seems to be 12. But that's not really, like, indicative of, like, how much game there is. There's a few side missions, side missions... What? New York? Liberation. Oh, I forgot. This is a. This takes place in the colonies. So, clubs, clubs, and then Boston Liberation, New York Liberation. For a moment, I thought, are we gonna go to real life New York, like present day? Uh, Discovery collectibles, peg leg. This isn't. This isn't. This isn't a uh, black flag. Forts, the underground citizen missions, naval, naval locations, privateer contracts, homestead, Achilles, big. Big Dave, Godfrey and Terry, Lance, Warren and Prudence, Norris, Lyle White, Ellen, Miriam, Father Timothy, Oliver and Corrine, Homestead Inventions. Huh. But yeah, I think this is like Connor's dad, I think. Yeah, because I think there was like something about that I don't really know. I think like we begin as him? Which, I guess, kind of makes sense. Just makes me wonder what it would be like if there was, like, a... Sir. Sir. Ezio prequel where he plays yes. his dad. Fine. Haytham. I'm just preoccupied, that's all. Don't forget your invitation. Master Bert will be meeting you inside. Thank you. Where shall I retrieve you once you're done? This is so cool. And be quick about it. I like the way this is being done. I'll bring her around at once. Like, we're actually synchronizing to the Ancestor in a very interesting way. I really like the representation of it. Like, we begin in the Animus, and the Animus is, like, constructing the memory around us. This is cool. Fito Royale, Covet Garden, 1754. Shall I take your coat, sir? You will not take my coat. My coat is mine. New email. Leave the animus to read it. Well, we're not going to be doing that. And gentlemen, you are requested to kindly find your seats. 
Hmm. Now maybe I need to up the... Ah, well, we'll read this and then I'll up the brightness. <laughs> they, they need to balance the, like, grey whiteness with the shadows. You might hear this often referred to as the Covent Garden, which it faces, or the Royal Opera House, which it later became. However, this is the original Royal Theatre building, opened in 1732, destroyed by fire in 1808. It will be rebuilt, then destroyed by fire again in 1857, then almost completely renovated in the 1990s. They've installed a smoke detector this time. The original theatre lineup has varied, contained ballet, operas, even acrobatics. Many of Handel's operas opened here, right up until his death in 1750 when he mysteriously stopped writing them. But the building was mainly used for presenting plays, at least for the first hundred years of its history. The reason? It held the exclusive rights to perform spoken drama in London, awarded by King Charles II. Yes, kings could do that. Though why they would is beyond me. Interesting. And damn, is it just deep in there. Deep within the archives. Now we just need to up the brightness again because I am a fool. We need to find good brightness like settings. Not too dark, not too bright. Good Very evening, pretty. This way, please. Hmm. The shuffle of getting to your theater seat has always existed, it seems. And then my model jumped into the air a bit. <laughs> British, <laughs> indeed. Evening, Hatham. Reginald? I can't tell you how happy I was to hear they'd mounted this revival. Gay's best work by far. Have you seen it before? Once. My father brought me here as a child. He's Batman. Though I remember little of it. I don't suppose tonight will afford me the luxury of a proper viewing either. No, I'm afraid it won't. <laughs> On to business then. Was that a typo in the th th the subtitles? <laughs> they forgot the M for I'm. Yep, we're keeping that. <laughs> Be seated in one of the boxes above. The stairs are watched. We'll need to find another way up. Why did my mind immediately ju like once we zoomed in on that box, my mind immediately jumped to the "now you fucked up" clip. A thousand pardons. So sorry. Only a thousand pardons. It almost looked like he bitch slapped that guy. Let's read about this man. Reginald Birch was a London merchant and son of another London merchant, who conveniently enough also had the last name Birch. It seems that it was one of the most hard to put your finger on things that ran in the family. Birch started in the business for himself at an early age. By the time he was in his mid-twenties, he had already owned several merchant ships, mainly dealing with the tea trade to the American colonies. That's pretty good going, seems by the time most people are in their mid-twenties, they don't even own a shirt. I have... I have him as part of owner of the Providence, among others. Later in life, Birch also owned several businesses in and around London. He was a member of White's, which was a posh gentleman's club in London, and generally a well-known and respected man about town. From what I can tell, Birch met Haytham Kenway while working for his father Edward. They were introduced at White's while Haytham was still quite young. Birch would eventually take over Haytham's education, tutoring him while on tour of Europe in the 1730s. From what we've seen in the Animus, it seems their friendship continued into adulthood, with them working together as members of the Assassins. Interesting. Oh, hey. <laughs> Interesting that it's just like Reginald, Sean, and then the Assassins. Interesting. Well, let's... Haha, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice try. Sean Hastings is one of the few members of the Assassins who hasn't raised with to join the Order. He was recruited as a teenager after his investigations into Abstergo Industries made him a target for the Templars. Hastings has a gift for organization, and as such, the Assassins would be lost without him. With his talent for making connections between historical events, he is widely regarded as the most intelligent person in the Order. And by widely regarded as the most intelligent person in the Order, I mean he is the most intelligent person in the Order. You may think he's an arrogant bastard, but that's 
only because he's smarter than you, and like a less than able teenage girl, you find yourself not yet secure enough to move past your inherent and powerful feelings of joyless jealousy and simply appreciate me for who I am. Oh good, you're actually reading these. I was beginning to wonder if I was wasting my time, because you know how much I love wasting my time. Now, make me some tea, would you? This is why I like you, Sean. You're a funny little man. Altair was born to the Assassin Brotherhood in the stronghold of Masiaf. His early life wasn't a happy one. His mother died during childbirth. Then, when he was a young boy, his father was killed during the first siege of Masiaf. Only shortly thereafter, the assassin, uh, after, thereafter, the assassin he died to save committed suicide in front of the eleven-year-old Altair. With his parents gone, Altair looked to Al-Mualim, and the then mentor of the Order, as a father figure. Al-Mualim recognized Altair's potential and took his training personally. Altair reached rank of Master Assassin by the age of 25, an unheard of accomplishment. If there was an Assassin Book of Records, there'd probably be a picture of this fellow on the front. Altair was one of the best fighters in the Assassin history, with an arrogance to match. After a disastrous mission in 1191, in which he broke the creed and very nearly let an apple of Eden formed to Templar hands, Altair was sent back down to novice rank and forced to begin again. As part of his rehabilitation, he was responsible for taking out the major players in the Templar Order at the time, including the Grand Master Robert de Sable. Tragically, in the end, he was also forced to kill Al Mualim, who turned out to be both a Templar and corrupted by the influence of the Apple. After his mentor's death, Altair took control of the Order, turning it into the secret and world-spanning organization it is today. How the hell is this going to be explained in, like, Assassin's Creed Origins, then? Because that takes, like, I am sure that takes, like, long, long, long before this. So, huh. Well, we'll have to get to that eventually. One of the things that made Altair such a deadly assassin was uh, something uh, we now call Eagle Vision. A kind of sixth sense inherited from the first civilization. It followed him, it allowed him, followed him, it allowed him to read his enemies and surroundings in a way that goes beyond what the human eye can see. Of course, you'll know more about that than me. I can't believe I'll just type that. Because it's in your blood, and that's part of why you're here. Well, let's be honest, you knew you weren't here because of my enduring affection or my warm and passionate cuddles. I like the personality. Ezio Auditore da Firenze was a master assassin during the Italian Renaissance, as well as being an inheritor of the mysterious ability of eagle vision and one of your ancestors. Ezio was something of a playboy in his teenage years, but his life changed in 1476 when his father and brothers were arrested and executed for treason. Ezio tried to save them, but the evidence clearing their names mysteriously disappeared in the hands of a family friend. Instead, they were hanged as Ezio looked on. Ezio fled with his mother and sister to Montergione, where he sought refuge with his uncle, Mario Arditore. While Ezio had originally intended to continue on and settle in Spain, Mario had other ideas. He was the leader of the Italian Assassin Brotherhood and spent the next several years training Ezio and convincing him to help fight the Templars responsible for the deaths of his father and brothers. Ezio spent the next decade assassinating his way through the Templar ranks, eventually cornering the Templar Grand Master Rodrigo Borgia in Venice in 1487. Borgia got away, but Ezio was able to recover an Apple of Eden and was formally inducted an into the Assassin Order. After several setbacks over the next few years, Ezio travelled to Rome in 1499 to confront Rodrigo, who by then had become Pope Alexander VI. After defeating Rodrigo but sparing his life, Ezio opened a hidden vault under the Sistine Chapel. There he discovered a message left by the First Civilization warning him of a catastrophe that would threaten to wipe out humanity. Yes, that would be the one we're facing right now. Over the next 20 or so years, Ezio worked on strengthening the Italian Assassin Brotherhood and fighting the Templars, which is sort of what we do. One of the greatest accomplishments would be discovering a hidden library belonging to Altair, hidden under the former Assassin stronghold at Masiaf, and containing a another message from the first civilization. He retired from the Brotherhood shortly thereafter, which is what we call ending on a high note. He was terrific at jumping too. Ezio died in Florence in 1524. Ah. Interesting, interesting. Hmm. Is it, I'm not sure if it's like supposed to be this dark or not. I almost don't want to brighten it anymore because, like, we already lowered the brightness. It's hard to tell. Well. 
Nobody will see me going around this way. The British are too uh, blind. Dear God, they actually are blind. At least they... They're just, like, fusing together, aren't they? Remastered, everybody! Ezio did so much in his lifetime, it's a little ridiculous. Yeah. The man was a powerhouse. <laughs> he had so much in his life that, uh... I'm just trying to think, where do we go? Okay. <laughs> I see that's still in the game. Where uh, trying to go from one way to another uh, is still kind of clunky. Such is the way of the Assassin's Creeds. But yeah, it kind of makes sense that there's like super, super much for like Ezio to do because there were three games for the guy. Ooh, there's lockpicking in the game. All right. Interesting. I see that uh, iconic leap of faith platform. Stand by why? Hmm, the Beggar's Opera. I don't think I'll read that. We've done enough reading. And nobody notices. I don't even know who's talking half them down there. Am I going to kill the guy, or... Am I going to John Wilkes Booth this man? Or are we just here to talk? Hey, Phil. Then again, I should have known Target. He was golden. We would have found another way. <laughs> yes. There's a little boy behind us. Is he going to see? Sorry. As am I. Goodbye. So the little boy did see. Am I gonna have to kill the little boy? <laughs> you are an ugly little boy, and you are very creepy, Hatham. Remastered everybody! <laughs> Presentation is a bit odd, but oh well. No, oh, don't mind me. I'm just a normal man. What? They think he did the murder? Why did they think he was the murderer? Ah, so Fast Walk also doubles as pushing people out of the way. Very nice. I think all they did was mess up the lighting and redo some textures. Yeah, that's probably. <laughs> what? He's French, there's no danger? What? <laughs> what does that even mean? Hear that right? Why are they going after everybody but me? I am very inconspicuous. It's too close in here. Let me into the void of the animus, everybody. Peace, friends. There is no danger. Somebody literally just died. <laughs> and how was the opera? Rather dull, truth be told. You 
shall we be off then? Aye. To fleet and bribe. By your command. Hmm, I wonder what this is. Well, the guy was British. He probably stole it. And now we're somewhere else now. Fascinating. And we're not even Haytham Gentlemen, anymore. I hold in my hand a key. And if this book is to be believed, it will open the doors of a storehouse built by those who came before. Ah, yes. Those who ruled, reigned, and vanished from the world. Do we know what it is that would be held within? Of course not. It contains certain knowledge. Perhaps a weapon or something as yet unknown, unfathomable in its construction and purpose. It could be any of these things, or none of them. They are still an enigma, these precursors. But of one thing I am certain. We only have like three camera angles. Shall prove a great boon to us all. Or our enemies, should they find I miss the Assassin's Creed 1 camera system. You seem to that. For like cutscenes. I assume you know where this storehouse is. Why are we so plastic looking? Mr. Harrison, gentlemen, how fair your calculations? I believe the site lies somewhere within this region. That's a lot of ground to cover. My apologies. Were that I could be more accurate. That's all right. It suffices for a start. And that is why we've called you here, Master Kenway. We'd like for you to travel to America, locate the storehouse, and take possession of its contents. I'm yours to command, although a job of this magnitude will require more than just myself. Ah, oh, we think you could do it alone. You're like Upon Batman. This paper are the names of five men sympathetic to our cause. Each is also uniquely suited to aid you in your endeavor. With them at your side. Well, Lee, William Johnson. Well, went to buy too fast. Then I'd best be on my way. Went too buy too fast. Was not misplaced. We booked you passage to Boston. Your ship leaves at dawn. Go forth, Haytham, and bring honor to us all. A deadly performance. Woohoo! 100% apparently. Full synchronization. Even though there was like no bonus there, so. I hear seagulls. Atlantic Ocean, day two. Gonna love some sea shanties. Interesting that he has like a broken assassin symbol on his gauntlet. Either that or was the texture f freaking out. Could be anything. The Providence. The Providence was one of many sailing ships in the British Merchant Navy, which basically means it was a trade ship rather than one meant for war. You'll notice it's carrying cannon, but those are mainly for protection against pirates or privateer vessels, or for turning the ship into a privateer vessel should the need arise. The ship was built in 1748 and made several trips a year between British Britain and North American colonies, with occasional visits to the West Indies. The manifest doesn't indicate anything particularly interesting. Mostly it carried staples like tea, molasses, and cloth. It's captained by its part owner, one Samuel Smythe who got something of a reputation among sailors for both cruelty to his crew and penny pinching on rations. Incidentally, that's not exactly a way to keep good sailors on board. The crew's probably both inexperienced and disgruntled. Ideally, you want an experienced crew who are hugely gruntled. Although you likely don't know much about running an 18th century sailing vessel, odds are you won't notice the difference. <laughs> oh, you are a brilliant little man. Huh, don't know. Does, like, Eagle Vision do something to the camera itself in this game? Hmm, there's gambling. I don't care to do gambling. I have no money. To gamble anyway. But it's almost like the camera gets, I don't know, like, kind of fish-eyed lensed almost. Huh, what are those icons? Listening? 
Ah, interactions. Good morning, Doctor. To you as well. A question, if I may. Do you serve aboard the ship, or are you simply taking passage? A bit of both, actually. I've been commissioned by the Royal Navy to study maritime illness. I'll be observing the crew during the journey. We have found that uh, sailors fare far better on the open seas than the rest of us. I hope huh. to discover why that is. Well, I hope you are successful. Well, it's because they're used to it. As do I. Thank you for the kind words. We've discovered that bodybuilders build body better than the normal people. I wonder why that is. Ah, a fellow Londoner. Good to see I'm not the only man of means aboard. Rupert Martin, pleased to meet you. You're still called civilian, so you're probably not important. Pleasure. Seems we picked an excellent time to leave the city. Oh? You didn't hear about the murder at the Opera House? <laughs> I did it. What happened? They're still trying to sort it all out. And I suspect they'll be at it for a good long while. Any word on the motive? They've ruled out robbery. <laughs> Even though we literally <laughs> stole something from him. Gone sour. Or something more personal. More luring. Who knows? But I am glad to be away from it. I wonder if that kid is going to come back. Saturday. Like, there's like no reason to include the kid and have uh, Kenway be weird to the kid and creepy like, shush, unless you're going to bring the kid back. Like, right? Right? There's got to be more to it. Well, all the way. Also, I just noticed uh, the minimap is on the left now, as opposed to the right. So, unlike the previous games, it'll actually be visible. Captain, Mr. Kenway. Why does he look like an evil? For taking me aboard and apologize oh, what's his name? Inconvenience it may have caused. Einstein, an evil Einstein. I'm sorry, I don't follow. My ship was held in port for two days that we might accommodate you. I lost several contracts as a result. I had no idea. Of course not. You nobles are all the same. Well, he obviously doesn't like us. Very interesting. Hello, ca well, not captain, but shipsman, wheelman, I don't know. Hello, sir. Do you expect Dude. a crossing? It is a quiet time of year, though rogue storms in troubled waters are not unheard of. But no need to fret. At worst, they'll prove an inconvenience. I'm more concerned about pirates and rogue privateers. Have you encountered them before? I, I wonder what the difference between, like, is a, a pirate and a privateer is. Well -trained. They will surely keep us safe. Well, that's not what Sean believes. Sean says that like, uh, the ship people aren't, aren't well gruntled. So we are doomed. And then all will be well. This, be this guy's name. The These people are named. They must be important. Nah. No, you don't sit right with the others. Have faith, my friend. You'll see. Well, well. Seems our esteemed guest has deigned to grace us with his presence. Are we gonna have to fight you? you head back to your quarters. Top deck's no place for tender parnells. <laughs> There's too many people gathering around. We're gonna fight. And yet here you are. Fancy yourself a joker, eh? Let's see how funny you find this. That's enough, Graves. Stay out of this. Oh, th th did they change things? All right. Uh, I don't know. How to they change things. It feels like defeat the crewman in a fist fight. I'm trying. I can't punch. <laughs> I'm trying to punch, but all I'm doing is parrying. <laughs> deck the deck hand. I'm trying. All I can do is this, and I, I'm pressing the attack button. I hold B, hold B before the attack. 
before... Like, I don't know. I'm trying to click the attack button, but nothing's happening. Game? Like, I could... Limit loss health, but I'm trying. I don't know how to... Oh! I, I just... Sp I don't... I'm trying. Game is being weird. I don't know what it wanted of me. I don't know what the game wanted from me. Please, Bell, call this off. If the captain sees us. To hell with the captain. And to hell with you, Mills. Who starts you on anyway? There we go. Much better. Oh, hell yeah. Wrestler and all of us. We're ready to go again if you are. This is unwise. Why is that? You think I'm afraid of you? No. But you should be. Get out of here. Oh, drop kick. Hell yeah. Do you yield? When I'm allowed to attack, things are good. How do you like these odds? Better. Oh, disarm. What's the meaning of this? I'm beating up your crew. Explain yourself at once, Mr. Kenway. These thought we were simply passing the time with a bit of sport, Captain. How about you pass the time by doing your goddamn jobs instead? I wasn't aware I was paying you to loll about. A word, please, Mr. Kenway. Sure thing. Let me just return this knife. I didn't. Oh, I nearly forgot. <laughs> yeah, return the knife. There's your knife back. Yeah. <laughs> when I'm allowed to fight back, fighting is good. I don't care for you, Mr. Kenway. I've had nothing but trouble since you came aboard. Your problems have nothing to do with me. I beg your pardon? You're a poor leader, ill-tempered and cruel, and it's clear your crew has no respect for you. I don't want to argue. In fact, I need a favor. And what do you need? Me to kill somebody? Oh, this is rich. I suspect some of the men intend to mutiny. Really? What is the price? As I cannot trust any of them, I am compelled to turn to you. Especially since you kicked their ass. Why should I help you? Because if they do intend to betray, I'm the only hope you have of reaching America alive. Well, what will it be? That's well, something to do. If what you say is true, what other choice do I have? Think. But let me be clear. Should you ever dare to insult or threaten me again, I'll not hesitate but to cut off your head myself. Are we understood? <laughs> Excellent. The light, <laughs> jittery <laughs> nods. And the insult okay. by drinking his brandy. Day 28! So I got into a fist fight on my second day and then nothing happened in the intervening 26. Mr. Kenway. Yes. Captain. Whatever they're up to, I believe it's coming to a head. I best get to work. Who do I need to kill? Maybe Graves. Now this is where we're probably actually going to be able to be taking damage. And Shut our rations again. Claims we're not provisioned for such luxuries. If you're right, you should we feast on lamb and rice. Hello, Graves. Is you looking for another fight? Is that it? Go away. It's been 26 days. Why are you mad? <laughs> Boston, Cambridge. They actually have it marked. Lewis Mills. 
know what Mills is a deckhand originally from where we British somewhat optim optimistically call Sunny Brighton. He got his love of the sea from his father, who was also a sailor. He first took young Lewis to sea with him at the age of ten, sailing from London to Boston on a vessel named the Windward. As he grew older, Mills kept working as a merchant marine, travelling the world and gaining a reputation as a reliable and level-headed sailor. He joined the crew of the Providence in 1752, staying with the captain and crew through a variety of hardships. Though by 1755, he was thinking of moving on. Interesting. I ain't got nothing to say to you. Why? Because I kicked your ass. Is there like interaction up here? Nope. It's all interaction down here then. Ah. It, it just there we go. It was weird for that. Basting you gave Graves and Quill. It was twenty six days ago. It wasn't by choice. Aye. Blockheads the both of them. Where are my manners? Louis Mills. Please the Ah, uh, Louis Mills. Hatham Kenway. Rude, Hatham. So, should I be watching my back? I think the boys learned their lesson. They're normally not so nasty. Honest, it's just the past few crossings have been a bit rough. Oh? Captain's trying to cut costs, reduce rations, lower wages, more dangerous cargo. It's put the crew on edge. Is there cause for concern, then? Not if I can help it. But the captain needs to think about the way he treats his men. Very interesting. Why is there burnt boards here? That... That's... Ominous. You there. I have some questions for you. That's nice. But I ain't got time to gossip. Probably wouldn't have anything useful to share anyway. You want information? Try the cook. Or the doctor. Everyone's always chatting them up. Well, he gave me information anyway. Well, they're talking about me. That's not good. Hello, doctor. Uh, doctor, if you have a moment. Have you taken it? No, oh, nothing like that. I was wondering if you'd heard Is any this guy dead or just board? resting so here? Unusual complaints or grievances. Men taking issue with the captain. You or the sound passengers. just like James. Like I told him, I've been much too busy with my research to notice anything not worth relating. And where might I find James? The galley's your best bet. Now, if you'll excuse me. That's the polite way of saying, leave me alone. Are you James? Aye. Atham Kenway. Pleased to meet you. I won't shake I your hand, though. You are. We're all just jealous because you're more British course. than them. My teeth are far worse. That makes me the best Britishman. So, what do you want to know? Have you seen or heard anything out of the ordinary since we left port? Anything that gives cause for concern? Some of the men have been gathering at night on the upper deck. I've only caught bits of their conversations, so I couldn't say for certain what they're up to. But I suspect it bodes ill. Is it a mutiny they're planning? All I know is they've little love for the captain. Mills has been trying to talk them down, but there's only so much one man can do. Thank you for the information. Don't die. I only wish to see us reach the colonies alive. A very reasonable thing, all in all. Am I going to get into a fight? How many of these tri-corner people am I going to have to bash? Hmm. I'm supposing that I can talk to the captain, maybe? You must expose whatever they're plotting. Your crew is a tight-lipped bunch. But I'll see what I can do. Well, hurry up! <laughs> I sat down to tell you this. 
It was like video game chiming, but I'm not sure if that meant anything. Evening, sir. How are things? Calm and quiet. Just the way I like it. What brings you topside? Thought I'd wander a bit. Stretch my legs. That's all. Take care where you tread. The deck hides all manner of danger in the dark. That's ominous. What was that? Things are being thrown Someone's overboard. Cargo overboard. But why? Well, that's not good at all. The real question is, what are they throwing overboard? Whoa, now quiet. Here he, comes. <laughs> he said the same Here thing. The you gave oh, is it just going to replay? Wasn't by choice. I blockheads. That's amusing. I wonder why. Yeah, the other one's disappeared. Like that one actually disappeared, but then it came back. Weird. Just going to run. Are they leaving a trail for pirates? Could that be it? Because they are marked with X's. What about that other upper Britishman? Hmm. Most curious. Curiouser and curiouser, you might say. And then, like, five days later. We've got to be being hunted down by pirates. Any news? Each night it's the same. I scout one area, and they drop the painted barrels from another. I'm going to need to recruit an extra pair of eyes. Maybe James or Mills. Why are they doing this? Lure someone to us? The barrel servers martyrs. They're leaving a trail. Like, surely they'd I run out of barrels of this many We're days in. It. Ship sighted aft! She's making ready to fire! Beat to quarters, men! Ready the... Brace! Everybody down! That big, big boat. A warning shot! Seems they don't mean to sink us, but board us instead. Man the cannons! Make ready to fight! I want you below deck. Why? Let me help you secure the ship. Do you know how to rig a sail? To load a cannon? To wage war at sea? I didn't think so. But it's now in the gameplay! Or do I need to have you escorted? Obviously I'm going to do some fighting, because... Lose 10% health. Bonus. Hey, Tim. Have you been topside? A ship's appeared and means to board us. It's strange. There's no sign of mutiny aboard. Doesn't make sense. Ah, but it does. What do you mean? Are you the it's mutineer? You could escape from London so easily after what you did at the office. Oh. That we wouldn't know. Interesting. That we wouldn't follow. Ah. So that's what this <laughs> is. They about. locked you in your room. <laughs> Surrender. And I will see that you are treated with honor. If you wish to treat me with honor, give me a sword. Are you sure this is how you want to play it? And I thought you were the nice man. Odd man, all the same. He could have just killed me, but no. He's like, oh, I'm going to give you a sword. I'm going to fight you. Oh. Kind of rude of the game to, like, change how things work. <laughs> 
How dare they change the parry to something else? And the camera's being okay. I knocked him into me. Some things do never change. Into a I could have just stabbed him. Oh, he punched me. Goodbye. He's just dead. They've changed gameplay for some reason. I find it weird. I'll, I'll need to get used to it. Only Mills was there waiting for them. He's the one that drew that ship here. There was no mutiny. Only him. What do they want? Me. Me. Then they can have you. Is that so? They'll catch us anyway. There's nothing to be done. I can think of something. Gonna have to get used to the new you combat. Into the storm. There's a storm now. I won't do it. <laughs> Later that day. <laughs> An interesting introduction to this game. It just feels weird that they, like, moved, like, counter from X to B. And how counter works. But I guess they wanted to make combat more interesting. I don't know. I'll need more combat that isn't, like, boss battle -y. I'll need normal combat more in the future to really get a handle for things. I'm tying rope. Tying rope. <laughs> the shifting water made me jump high. Secure the rigging! <laughs> a lot of threatening from Sir Hytham. They're just taking after Altair more, I bet. Altair was kind of stabby. Secure that rigging! Don't fall into a black hole! Aye, aye. One out, I go. To lose some masting. Deploy the sail. Did lightning strike the goddamn ship? Come in as fast as I can, mate. <laughs> I jumped for you, my boy. And the other ship is still out here. Uh, never mind. Uh, that other ship is now dying. A horrible death. Alright, a lot more days have passed. And that guy seems happy. He's just hanging out on the ship. And they somehow, like, preserved the mast for repair, I guess. 
What are all those? Graham crackers? <laughs> they, they look like graham crackers! <laughs> Is that actually what they are? I was joking. I initially thought they were like, oh, dominoes or gold bars. No, they look, they're actually graham crackers, aren't they? Some kind of bread thing. Well, it seems I have completed those two objectives. <laughs> we love hard tack. Never had it myself, thank God. Apparently a lot of people are dying. But I like that they just speed ran the, oh, Louis is friend. Haha, <laughs> Louis is not friend. They just really speed ran that. Is that to foreshadow another thing like, oh, person you thought you could trust? Ah, oh, not trust. You fool. Make ready for our arrival, men. Arrival? I see no land, only this interminable fog. The gulls tell us all we need to know. Climb into the crow's nest and you'll see. Well, climb then I shall. <laughs> this rope texture. <laughs> it's so flat. <laughs> Why is it so flat compared to the other rope textures? <laughs> it repeats. Like, I know they kind of just expect you to only see it from this angle, but even from this angle, it looks flat. Why does it repeat so much? You have other... T <laughs> I would love a game where they literally everybody betrays you to comedic levels. That would be majestic. <laughs> that would be absolutely wonderful as a game thing. Where you just slowly... Maybe throw in one, like, not betrayal just to throw you off by the end. Look, it's America. Journey to the New World. Mission complete. Full synchronization. New email received. Leave the Animus to read. And after, like, only the beginning section, where we went into the cave, everything else has been smooth, which is nice. Yes, may I help you? Charles Lee, sir. Pleasure to make your Why do you look like a brown haired version of Samuel? I've arranged for your bags to be delivered to the inn. Are you by any chance, John and Isabel? An NPC showed up during the ending cutscene and was like, I will never betray you, and then the game ends. Your commission is with Edward Braddock, is it not? It's like the dog. The dog doesn't say anything until the end. Uh. At least until he arrives. I guess those are enemy yes. notifications. Forgive me, sir. I had, I had hoped that I might study under you. If I am to serve the order, I can imagine no better mentor than yourself. Kind of you to say, but I think you overestimate me. They, they knocked down the orange! Bratty Britishman! Did, did that guy just stole an orange? <laughs> You drop some orange, a guy bends down, picks up an orange, and runs. Boston's quite a lively city. There's all manner of things to see and do. It's hilarious. In, I suggest you take some time to walk <laughs> Need enemy notifications for IRL police. That's what, like, the police scanner's for. Hmm. It's a little jittery, so we're... Let's see. Graphics. Uh, resolution modifier, nah. Well, we'll definitely get rid of that. Hmm. I don't really want to mess with anything else, so we'll just see if it'll fix itself. Maybe the motion blur was causing it, who knows. It's the best boy! Find a general store and markets. 
I don't really care about markets. But anything else on some people? Individuals. Charles Lee. Charles Lee was a British soldier who went on to be a major figure in the Revolutionary War. Lee's father was a colonel in the British Army and started his son off in a military career early. He was sent to a military academy in Switzerland during his formative years and then in 1746, Lee became an ensign in his father's regiment. Lee was sent to the colonies in 1755 to fight in the French and Indian War. He served under Edward ba Braddock and then later fought... Ticonderoga, where he was injured in the fighting. Lee recovered and later fought at Fort Niagara. I'd always thought there was there were a lot of fort, uh, fort fights fought. He finished his time in the colonies of the British conquest of Montreal. Lee returned to England in 1760, possibly because he was seeking career advancement. He was named a major in 1761 and was sent to fight the Spanish in Portugal. Though his service record was, there was good, Lee didn't receive a praise on his return home. In fact, he was retired from the army at half pay. After that, Lee became a vocal critic of military higher-ups and the British Prime Minister and found that his military career had inexplicably completely stalled. Sucks to be you. Well, I have a f like a few thousand pounds. I wonder if I can steal. No, I can't because. Oh, just play game guy. Get back here with that, you rogue! And I found the store, and I couldn't follow them after that. <laughs> Charles Lee is kind of a hater. <laughs> you seem troubled, friend. Benjamin Franklin. That's because I am. Of course, we run into you so immediately. What's happened? I was robbed. The old Vulcan file. Though I've managed to restore what's mine, I fear it's ruined. You mean the book? This is no ordinary book. It's an almanac. The first I ever wrote. <clears throat> Benjamin Franklin, please. Historical figure, pleased to meet you. Kenway. You must be new to Boston. Why do you say that? You're still possessed of virtue. <laughs> to stop and help an old lout like myself. I I don't mean to impose, but you seem a spry fellow. Should you happen to find my missing pages? I'll ah, so this is a collectible for the game. It's all right, all right. If you have the time, hurrah. If not, no harm done. The thing is useless in its current state anyway. But should you somehow manage to restore it, you'll find me inside that general store over there. It's where I live. Well... That was interesting. I ran into a historical figure. Well, we obviously have to read about Benjamin Franklin. Benjamin Franklin was a renowned inventor, diplomat, and one of the signers of the Declaration of Independence. Translation, he was a rock star of the age. Benjamin Franklin was born in Boston in 1706, the tenth son of a soap maker. Ten sons! I guess his parents couldn't afford a television, and also there was no television. He began working for his brother in 1718 as an apprentice printer. However, their relationship was rocky, particularly after the elder Franklin found out that young Benjamin had been writing for the paper under a pseudonym, Silence Do Good, and writing an extremely popular column at that. Human nature being what it is, the fact that the column was popular was probably the bigger problem. Benjamin ran away in 1723 and headed for Philadelphia, where he continued his career in printing and writing, eventually buying the Pennsylvania Gazette. The business, I mean, not just a copy. Well, that would have been one of the lesser achievements. He stayed in Philadelphia for most of his life, that is, when he wasn't making extended trips to Europe. Franklin had a talent for persuasion, and that made him an ideal diplomat. In 1757, he went to London to represent Pennsylvania in an ongoing legal battle with the Penn family. It was the first ever of several extended political trips to Britain, and he would act as the state representative for Massachusetts, Georgia, and New Jersey as well. In fact, Franklin was in Europe for most of the Revolution, though he was in the colonies to help with the writing of the Declaration of Independence. Franklin was a vocal opponent of British impositions on the colonies, 
like the Stamp Act, and although he first fought for the rights of colonists as a British citizen, he eventually became convinced, like many of the Founding Fathers, that independence was the only real solution. Unfortunately, Franklin's change of heart made him clash with his son William, who served as the royal governor of New Jersey. William remained as a loyal, active loyalist, the father and son never spoke again. When he wasn't found in a new nation and destroying his family in the process, Franklin was a scientist inventing things like bifocals and more efficient wood stoves when he wasn't mapping the Gulf Stream and discovering how electricity worked. What have you done today? Made yourself a microwave meal and sat, and put out, uh, sat about in your underwear? Oh, well done you. He also was quite the lady killer, Jesus, this guy, carrying on several friendships with women while he was in Europe. The records don't say what exactly they saw in him, certainly not his looks. Maybe women like a man who's intelligent. If that was true, I wouldn't be here. I'd be in Portugal, surrounded by them, and you'd be looking at a blank screen. <laughs> Funny little man indeed. <laughs> Assassinate. Oh, doggo! Randomly here, I can tell her I can pet the the, the floating doggo. Hmm. 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 I just wonder, because I'm trying to like lock on to him, but I guess lock oning is different in this game. Central Boston letters. All right, deliver the letters in Boston. Buy a sword and pistol. And I can sell. That's not good. I didn't like the selling mechanics. Yeah, it's just a normal blade. Okay, it's a good combo. So not really good damage, but decent speed. That's kind of funny. Three combo, super that way, but four speed is only slightly that way. Be interesting. I'll buy a normal sword. I like the UI here. And flintlock. Rate of fire 6, short range 3, long range 3. So middling, middling. <laughs> Need for speed. <laughs> ah, indeed. Hold. Ah, here we go. Horse whistle, throw money. Interesting. But I did game. Oh, because... There we go. That's how we equip them. Alrighty. Hear ye. Shots fired in anger in the province of Pennsylvania. Lieutenant Colonel Not George shots <laughs> shots fired. The the so they've definitely changed how the game we works. For the Green Dragon Tavern. The proprietors are eccentric, but the rooms are spacious and they do not pry. Have you been told That's why good. I've come to Boston? No. Master Birch said I should know only as much as you saw fit to share. Good, good. He sent me a list of names and bade me ensure you could find them. And have you had any luck with that? Hi. William Johnston waits for us at the Green Dragon. How well do you know him? Not well, but he saw the order's mark and did not hesitate to come. Prove yourself loyal to our cause. And you may yet know... I wonder if, like, the red marks like on the mini-map with, like, uh... I assume reticles are long-range enemies. And again, that ugly child from the Opera House is going to come back, I swear it. We don't even know who we assassinated, or who they were a part of, or what. Good for you. <laughs> just, just teleporting off your horse. New weapon in shop is available. Hanger sword. Whatever that means. Why is it just a...
pig in the middle of the road. <laughs> Reflex shot, what? Courier missions all around. There's an interactive conversation over that way that we missed. I will be back. I must go to the interactive conversation. I need to be careful. My urge to hit the reflex shot is going to anger people. I went the wrong way. Up. Oh, I just delivered a letter. Because I could. Sure. Oh, those, that's, ah, these. Hello, dude. I guess since I activated that, I'll go ahead and do it. If they're in the, in the immediate vicinity. I have a letter for you. My horse is following me. I don't care about you, horse. I'm on a mission to talk to somebody, I guess. And not press the need for speed button. So there's an interactive conversation in the store? Oh. Hello again. More almanac pages? Well, not quite. It's a treatise, actually. Oh? Concerning what? Yes. The benefits of taking an older woman as a lover. What? Really? <laughs> this I'd like to hear. Of course you would, Haytham. First and most obvious. Why is he, Benjamin moving like that? And so this because he is a weird man and a historical figure. Makes other things more stimulating as well, but more on that in a moment. All right. Your argument for experience makes some sense. Second, this is such a weird conversation to throw into the game. Lest they be discarded and forgotten. Rare is an old woman who is not also kind, compassionate, and good. That's something of a generalization. But also true. Now, on to the third. I'm not controlling him. He's controlling me. Which means one less thing over which to fret. In fact... You also decrease the chance of acquiring something like the French pox. Its presence clearly visible, or the woman dead. And should one desire a child? Then make a young woman your wife. Let the older one be a mistress. And that brings me to my fourth point. Why is this a conversation <laughs> comes for this game? A woman is less likely to reveal your indiscretions. Yes. I suppose you know quite a bit about Proud of her, thank you. He just keeps going. For the fifth reason, because in every animal that walks upright, the deficiency of the fluids that fill the muscles appears first in the highest part. The face first grows lank and wrinkled, then the neck, then the breast and arms. The lower part continuing to the last as plump as ever, so that covering all above with a basket and regarding only what is below the girdle, it is impossible of two women to know an old from a young one. And, as in the dark, all cats are gray, the pleasure of corporal enjoyment with an old woman is at least equal and frequently superior. Why? Every knack being by practice capable of improvement. You mad bastard. Well, this is such a... <laughs> it's just like, oh, there's an interactive conversation. I've sampled a great many. And then... You should try one as well. And then just this. Why may only improve with age. A random conversation... <laughs> to long some of a tendency to sour and that my friend is a most unpleasant experience better to work in a field often plowed you know is there more indeed indeed it never ends this, the sin is less to take a maiden head is a great responsibility mishandled it can ruin lives no such risk with an older woman and this implies the seventh Younger women are more given to compunction. Anxiety and unease are not present in the more aged and experienced. And as to the last of my reasons, well, it's really quite simple. 
older women are so very grateful for the attention. You make a compelling argument, Mr. Franklin. This is a weird conversation just to throw on somebody that you just met. I highly recommend it. We had one conversation. He said, hey, I want you to find my almanac pages. I owe you a great thanks, by the way. What for? Speaking with me. You see, I have very few friends in Boston these days. It's probably because of the weird conversations. Started with a cartoon I drew, suggesting unification. How else can we hope to withstand the French menace? I proposed something similar at the Albany conference as well, and it ruffled quite a few feathers. See, I've begun to wonder if the Harvard conversations so never end. I wanted to leave. Harvard might be better off independent and autonomous. Most of my peers, however, haven't taken kindly to the suggestion. Are things truly so bad under the crown? I wanted to leave. You answered your own question. Under. Why under? It should be side by side. Does France reside beneath Britain? Do the Italians? The Prussians? The Spanish? No. Sure, they may disagree from time to time, even come to blows, but they stand on equal ground. And we should as well. Are the colonies not simply an extension of the kingdom, though? Another borough, if you will? No, or so far away, not. they get we treated different. into something else, something distinct. Hmm. I suppose it's only natural to desire parity. We leave behind our parents, our childhoods, our homes, and seek to find a place in the world. If it's true for a person, why not a nation? Yes, yes, exactly. Hate them out here winning. Interesting. Anyway, like the I friendship points of Benjamin Franklin. Don't let me keep you from your work. What a weird, weird man. I mean, for a moment I was like, you mean to tell me the last one is out in the sea? No, it's just deeper into the city. I went through that man. I can pet a chicken. I... <laughs> that's not petting the animal. That's feeding it. Interesting. So stealing is not just a be-all, end-all. I wonder what this icon is. I must know. Wrong button. Is there nothing? Oh, vigilantes! Ah, they're people that may... Oh, that's not what I want at all! <laughs> that's not what I want to point at all! Okie dokie game! <laughs> Just uh, want to lock on to somebody, I point my gun. <laughs> that's not what I wanted to do at all! There are far too many animals here. They're going to get hurt. I know it. Have a letter. I acquired money! I'm so used to the older games that it's weird to not hold the A button while running. High profile just goes... I'm also, like, not used to, like... This just being a gun. Orphans will attract attention and slow your movement. Give them a few coins. Oh no, they brought back the beggars. What the fuck? Um... Who is you? Who are you, man? Uh... Okay, I, <laughs> the boomstick button, exactly. Uh, where is there? The, can I access the map from here? Apparently not. Weird. I want to know, what is that? Courier?
Uh, back, I say. Uh... Because I just wanted- I didn't want to kill him. I was just like, what are you? What do I get if I mess with you? What is your entire being? You are a red icon with a bayonet waving about. Well, who are you? I don't want to shoot you. I'm just being plopped <laughs> into an open world. Lost. I'm just like, what is going on? There are things everywhere. <laughs> oh, hilarity. Well, fine, we'll continue with the story, I guess. <laughs> Chase the Almanac page. Where? Detection loop. When you're incognito, if you don't do anything, you'll remain anonymous. Don't really care. That didn't answer anything about my almanac. Oh, almanac! Oh, it's lost? What do you mean lost? It was right there! How dare you, game. Well, everything is weird. Everything is odd. Nothing is explained. And hello there. Cheating no good, son of a bitch. Perhaps we've come at the bad time. Oh, don't be foolish, dearies. Please. We have come here for Thank some to eat, a drink cheap or like un We've already let rooms here. Unimposed oh, yes, visits. Uh, of course. Masters Lee and Kenway, uh, was it? Ah, uh, I'll have your bags brought up. While you exist in weird history, meeting weird history people, remember to stay hydrated. Only privacy. This way. Follow Mr. Lee. That guy was standing and now he's sitting. I don't trust him. Oh, I was going to point my gun at him for Sir, humor. William Johnson. You're on my list. A pleasure. Why Welcome are you... Back. He's a bit earnest. Why are you wearing... All right. Interesting outfit you've got there. Together an expedition. We believe there's a precursor site in the region. I require your knowledge of the land and its people to find it. Sadly, it's really funny you're playing Assassin's Creed 3 because I bought Assassin's Creed Yetsu collection on PS4 a couple of weeks ago. Fun, <laughs> funny, ain't it? Hope you enjoy it. Personally, Assassin's Creed 2 and Revelations were fun, but Brotherhood was a right bastard. Well, tell me where I can find him. I'll see if I can't speed things up. We've heard rumors of bandits operating from the compound southwest of here. You'll likely find him there. Charles? Sir. Best be off. Of course. Oh, there's interaction. Interaction time. And reading. More reading. Thomas Hickey was an Irish-born member of the British Army. He arrived in Boston in 1752, but it wasn't long before he was assigned to William Johnson's personal guard. Apparently at Johnson's request, possibly because their families were connected to Ireland, or maybe he found the name Hickey funny. The record isn't clear. Hickey served under Johnson during the French and Indian War, but then he left the army after being written up several times for disorderly conduct. After 1760, Hickey disappears from the historical record for several years. I do, however, have several mentions in William Johnson's household accounts of payments made to T.H. It's possible Hickey was working for him as a spy. If so, he should really have developed some tougher codes to crack. <laughs> Brotherhood is a right bastard and is too hard or it's bad. Mostly that it has weird design decisions like the... 100% synchronization bonus objectives are kind of annoying to do most of the time. And I ran into a few glitches 
there isn't a restart checkpoint button, if I recall. The story feels very much like Revelations, like an Assassin's Creed Revelations beta, rather than like a full thing. And it's just like, weird story things, weird gameplay things, and yeah, everything just felt lesser compared to like Assassin's Creed 2 and Assassin's Creed Revelations. William Johnson was a land speculator and Britain's principal treaty negotiator with the indigenous peoples in the northern part of the colonies. Particularly, I have no idea how to say that. Johnson was born in Ireland, but moved to the colonies in 1738 to look after his uncle's property on the Mohawk River. However, it wasn't long before Johnson branched out into a business for himself, acquiring property on the opposite side of the river and setting up a sawmill and trading post, which he named Mount Johnson. Which, to me, always sounds like mating instructions from a caveman. In 1743, he moved to an even larger parcel of land, which he named Fort Johnson. He may have been an excellent businessman, but it's possible he lacked an imagination. Johnson befriended the indigenous peoples in the area, particularly the Kanyan Kahak, I have no idea how to say that, whose language he learned. His respect for their customs helped him rise to prominence as a liaison between the, I don't know how to say that, peoples and the British government. Johnson was named Superintendent of Indian Affairs in 1756. As a contact who knows the land and its people, he's probably the best you'll find. Interesting. But it does have this, since when was the last time you could invade a Templar base as Desmond? That's true. I forgot. Interaction! Even though the interaction probably isn't much, it's just like, hey, have you done the thing yet? Tell me about yourself, William. What's to tell? I was born in Ireland to Catholic parents, which I learned early and late severely limited my opportunities. So I converted to Protestantism and journeyed here at the behest of my uncle. But I fear my Uncle Peter was not the swiftest of men. He sought to open trade with the Kanyan Gahaga. Yeah, I did not I pronounce that correct at all. Instead of on them. I tried to reason with the man, but... As I said, not the swiftest. So, I took what little money I'd earned and bought my own little plot of land. I built a home, a farm, a store, and a mill. How do you do all that by yourself? But well situated. Why would you have a home, a mill, and a store all next to each other? Indeed. If it's just you. Valuable relationship. But still no mention from your contacts of the precursor site. No hidden temple or ancient constructs? Yes and no. Which is to say, they had their fair share of sacred sites. Earthen moons, forest clearings, hidden caves. But nothing matching what you describe. No strange metals. No odd globes. Hmm. It is well hidden. Even to them, it seems. But cheer up, my friend. You'll have your precursor treasure. I swear. To our success, then. And soon. There's a lot of, like, optional talking this early in the game. I will admit the fact that the hook blade was only in Revelations is stupid. Ah, oh, the hook blade doesn't make a return. That's kind of sad. But I suppose they didn't want to repeat themselves a lot, either that or they're like, oh, we're not going to remake all these systems again, because it does seem like they kind of rebuilt things. The fuck? Well, apparently we teleported from... <laughs> we teleported! Okay! Hello there! Johnson's Errand! I didn't expect to be teleported out. Thomas Hickey? Who's asking? Me. Hickey Kenway. Is that supposed to mean something? Well, show some respect, boy. Peace, Charles. <laughs> Sudden close-up of Charles. Sent us in the hopes we might expedite your search. Don't need no expediting. Don't need none of your fancy London speak, neither. I found the men that done the theft. Then why are you just lazing around? Figuring out how to deal with those barlets. <laughs> how to get in. I have an idea. Will it hear it? I'll kill the lookout. Take up a position behind the guard. Uh, you two approach from the front. When I open fire on the group, you charge in. We'll have the element of surprise on our side. Half will fall before they've even realized what's happened. Get 
into position. Wait. And because others are shooting, they That's probably didn't. <laughs> I need to kill a lot of people with firearms. I got money from the dead body. Probably the game doesn't probably Oh, never mind. So much for the of surprise. Reinforcements. Game, let me do things. Reflex shot. I'd like to return to my normal gun. If at all possible. You tell me to shoot people, I want to shoot them. Been very weird game telling me what to do and not. Ah, drop the weapon. There we go. And then they all gave up while I was trying to reload. Fall back. We'll be safe inside. What now? We can blow the door with those. Go on, shoot them. Da, 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 da. <laughs> On with the show, then. It's kind of weird. It's like, kill them using firearms. And then when I try to do that, it feels like I've been so attacked. One of my favorite things in this game is while you're unarmed, you don't have your ranged weapon selected. I knock out random civilians in order to get their cash. That's one way of doing it. Save your looting for after we found Johnson's research. Meanwhile, I was doing the same thing. Lay down your weapons, and I'll consider letting you live. I make you the same offer. We've no quarrel. I only wish to return this chest to its rightful owner. Nothing rightful about Mr. Johnson. I won't ask again. Agreed. Don't mind me, I'm just reloading. There better be more mercenaries for me to shoot. Your kind has no need for books and maps. Who put you up to this? Never seen a person. It's always been dead drops and letters. But they always pay, so we do the jobs. Typical mercenary. Well, those days are done. Tell your masters I said as much. Who should I say you are? You don't. <laughs> don't know. Hey, Fum. This one's got some shot on him. You might want to be grabbing it on account of your pistol being part. Back to the Green Dragon, then. I need a drink. Obviously, we're going to have more men to kill because we need to defend these fools. Don't let go of the chest, Charles. We'll take care of this rebel. Ow, they knocked me down. I want to drop my weapon. Drop weapon. <laughs> I want to drop the weapon, <laughs> you daft bastard. And now the bonus thing is... is sure to have loot on them. Would be a shame to let it all go to waste. Are you mad? <laughs> in case you've forgotten, we're in the midst of something. Aww. Why is you always got to go and spoil the sport? Spoil the sport? 
We just need a few more people to shoot. A few more mercenaries, come on. And we're gonna go this way then, I think. Are they gonna come from the corn? Found that using human shields won't actually save it from bullets because of how heavy the bullets are during this time period. Yeah. Game once again equip the flip lock goddamn pistol. Drop the fucking weapon, game. I want to. I just want to equip my pistol, but the game won't let me do anything. There we go. Game's weird with its reload. It's like, kill them with guns. And then I did. Oh, they're on the roof, are they? I'll just stand out in the open. They won't hit me. <laughs> this is a highly accurate musket. My musket is better than your musket, little man. Mm-hmm. Never mind, my musket is actually quite terrible. I'll pick up this one instead and then shoot. There we go. Don't worry, it'll definitely be. While you're trying to shoot pe a lot of people with bad guns, remember to stay hydrated. I wonder who the enemies will be. The horse, the cows. And I missed. So used to the other ones. Trying to get to uh, bearings with how this all works. And. Oh, I just picked up the other one again. Give me the good one. And then reflex shot. Coming to grips with the system. Ah, there's more people to kill that way. And they're on the roof. Uh, da, 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 bop. I'll just... I need to reload my <laughs> pistol anyway. Imagine how awkward it would be to parry swings with a musket. Probably very. Ooh, you survived, little man. Then again, it is a pistol. And somehow I managed to do it faster. Boy, Mr. Johnson's gonna need to double my pay after all this if he expects me to keep at his side. <laughs> Had to kill a lot of people to get this box. And it all started with teleportation. <laughs> there you are. My thanks, Master Kenway. No. Tell me what it is you need. Well, what would we even get? Maps and stuff, I think he said? The images on this amulet, are they familiar to you? Perhaps one of the tribes has shown you something similar. It appears Tanya and Gahaga are nodded. Can you trace it to a specific location? I need to know where it came from. With my research returned, perhaps. Let me see what I can do. Thomas! Whoa. Whoa. Room. And the bath as well. I suspect we'll be here for a while. 
This has so far been an odd opening to an Assassin's Creed game. Ah, we completed the full thing, full synchronization. It's just so far it's been kind of an odd introduction to things. I kind of want to talk, but there's a lot of talking. It doesn't really matter. If you feel bad for mistranslating some things, don't worry. I'm pretty even this game has trouble with it too. Probably. That just seems to be the way of things with video games. Not much longer. Okay, good. That's all you have to say. Any news? Whispers of things. Nothing solid at the moment. I know you're looking for word of anything out of the ordinary. Dealing with temples and spirits and ancient times and whatnot. Yeah. But, so far, can't say my boys have heard much. No trinkets or artifacts being moved through your... shadow market? Nothing new. Couple of ill-gotten weapons, some jewellery likely lifted from a living thing. But you said to listen for talk of glows and ums and strange sights, right? And I ain't heard nothing about that. Keep at it. Oh, I will. Yeah. You done me a great service, mister. And I fully intend to repay my debt. Thrice fold if it pleases. What did I do? I just helped you with a single thanks job. Thomas. Place to sleep and meal to eat is thanks enough. Don't you worry. I'll get you sorted soon. Well, he seems like a fine enough lad. Well, next on the list. You know, the very first Assassin's Creed is surprisingly hard to find nowadays. Huh. I could see that for, like, physical. Oi! Catherine, you fussock! Get back here! Daddy needs a drink! He just tossed the, 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 the cup like that. Maths and maths are not cutting it. What of your local contacts? We'll need to earn their trust before they'll share what they know. <sighs> We might be affecting that. There's a man who's taken to enslaving natives. Rescue them, and they'll owe us. <laughs> Do you know where they're being held? Afraid not. <laughs> Benjamin Church will. He's a finder and a fixer. He's also on your list. My list. And there I was wondering whom I might solicit next. Well done. Oh yes, just this feels like an odd beginning. Do you ever get the chance to check out the stage play Phoenix Right? Oh no, I've not. Brain has been all over the place and so is life. Still need to put that on my list. And now we've been teleported again! Not as hard as last time, but still teleported! As you can see, we haven't we <laughs> We've gone all over this place. All over the city. The surgeon. Knock, knock, knock. Smart man locked his door. Wonderful. What are you going to do? Break in? Bastard. That door doesn't have a bolt in next to the Stop. door handle. Sir? And then the door handle's disappeared. Seems like we're not the only ones looking for Mr. Church. Damn it, he could be anywhere. He could be dead. What do we do? We find him. <laughs> ah, yes, the one unransacked thing. We're just going to steal the portrait. Or just cut his face off. That's not disturbing or anything. I'll just let you know on them on YouTube. There are some repeats on there, but it's without English subtitles, so be wary. Shall I shall. Orange markers indicate caution. Those targets must not be killed. Very interesting. I would like to activate my weapon wheels. Eavesdrop on the neighbors while hidden. News from France. 
And they just won't let me move around now. Not our business to meddle. Even if we've the best of intentions. But if you could have seen it. They were surely drunk carrying on like that. And kind of mean to just take away control from me, game? When the SSI fills with yellow, it means the target is suspicious. Once it's filled and turns to red, they'll be beer, beer, beer. Move between the yeah, end to blend in. I will if you will let me. There we go. Would they? He had like nine other brothers. Start questioning those on the street. I'm headed for higher ground. Climb the church to synchronize. But extra interesting that they're like, ah, these are targets that must not be killed. And then just kind of sort of alluded to like non-lethal. Not really. Again, this is is beginning to feel like a weird introduction to the game. Sorry, the game made me do that. I shall climb the church so that the world will be mine to see. Can imagine every time Haytham fights someone, he says, Looks like this Englishman has to kick some ass. Yeah, he probably wouldn't say that. He'd just be like, I'm gonna kill you now. He seems soft-spoken and not really too worldly. And of course they changed it from Y to B for some reason. Everything has been moved to B! Why have they moved everything to B? I don't understand. Time to take a listen. With luck, one of those. One hundred percent success in all diddly dees performed. Press plus A and move. There we go. Ah, good, good. Need to find a good group to hide among. The area has definitely suffered a decline in character. Indeed. All manner of Arifs and natty lads now. I wonder what they mean by 100% in eavesdropping. You can continue. Do tell. It was down by the church. A group of men comes rushing through when one of them suddenly falls to the ground. All torn up. I thought about going to see if he needed help, but a look from one of them changed my mind. Huh. Probably for the best. Those aren't the sort of people you want to get mixed up with. Eavesdrop on a group of moving guards. Well, I'll have to look for moving guards then. Let's see. Wrong freaking thing. Huh. I don't want to activate that just yet because I don't know if that, like, we're going to go in order or if I can activate others. I don't know. This game is being clunky and weird right now. Like, see, there more have appeared. I don't understand. And why is there a, a euro? Uh, codex page? Codex? Not codex. Uh, diddly D. Sorry, good sir. You're in the way of my. You're in the way of me collecting a, uh, an almanac. 
How do I collect the game? Why'd you double jump? Oh, because there was a freaking horse here. That's mean. Horse. You fucking bastard. Oh, and the almanac page disappeared because the game's a bastard. Why is the the almanac hard to grab? And why are they on roofs when they're guards that want to kill me? It's a very rude game. And I teleport through. And then I kicked you. And that somehow killed him. Such is the majesty of this game. Oh, what the hell? Die. And they're just shooting randomly. Game, I'd like to move. I would like to move, game. Go in this direction. We have to get away from them. All they wanted was an almanac page, but no. Will you go away? Again, I've, uh, I'm so used to, like, the original game. So, like, why do they change the buttons? It makes no sense. They're just like, we're going to change how everything works. And the game is just freaking out by being on... <laughs> up here. On a rooftop during combat. They're just like, no, this is not the right place. All because of rooftop bastards. Excuse me. I have uh, guards that I want to. There's not that many, like, obvious groups to blend in with across the streets nowadays. And I assume, like, with the 100% success, it just means, like, do them and don't have it be noticed, is what I assume. Nice that we still have, like, the kind of scurry-up action. Come on, you can climb up. Climb up, mate. You can climb up. Oh, you need the window. You're a little wuss who needs the window to climb up the building. Altair would be disgusted with you. Well, while you're trying to come to grips with the guards and the stupid almanac pages, remember to stay hydrated. Come over here so I can. I asked if I could help, and they waved me away. Insisted it was all under. Ta-da! How odd! Did they say what had happened? No. Only that it was a trifling matter, and he'd be returned home soon. There was some blood, though. So I fear the blood. More serious, and they let on. Where were they taking him? Towards the hilltop. Hey, Fem, the, the horse is here. And now remain undetected for the remainder. See, Charles, we'll have church in no time, just as I said we would. If I might ask, sir, where did you learn to do all this? It is murder so town, murder school. Murder I was. Perception is fundamental to the order. It guides the feet when running and climbing, informs the hands when striking and fighting. But most important, 
It transforms the senses, and we begin to know the world in a different way. Let's go pay one shilling in lawful money. Okay, good. These guys aren't blocking our way, so we can make our way past. We just need to remain. Ah, but there it is. Doom zone is up ahead. Careful. The place is well guarded. We need to slip past them. Press B while what? Darn you game, your tips go by too quickly! It said something about being B. Pressing B. But the tooltip went by too quickly. And it's specifically accompany him to the waterfront. <laughs> so the correct answer was uh, go around, not through. Locked. Hmm. I'll have to find the key. Wait here. Wait here to be discovered. Specifically, the guard leader. Ah, but there's one on the roof. It seems. Rude that he automatically sees me and doesn't be like, hey, is that a person? Yeah, this seems to be the one they want you to steal from. Careful. Gotta be careful. And remain undetected somehow. That was close. Don't mind me, I just run. Oh, don't worry, I am getting out of here. I'm getting out of here. Game, you better fucking not, mate. They were a million miles away. Here we are then. They n n noticed you way too quickly compared to the previous games. make these things so difficult, Benjamin. Merely provide me with recompense, and all shall be forgiven. I'll not pay for protection I don't need. Clearly, you do require protection. Is this a Elsie different Benjamin? Here. So many different Benjamins. How very good. Now, what shall we do about our guest? Maybe. I take his hand. Put an end to his surgery. Maybe. I take his tongue. Put an end to his waggling. Or maybe. He just covered in blood I take there. His cock. Put an end to his fucking us. So many options. I can't possibly decide. These British people all. are. No. Technically, it's four because he has two hands. 
I'm so very sorry, Benson. But that door has closed. Be reasonable, Silas! Be a reasonable I little man. I was, but you took advantage of my oh. generosity. I won't be made a fool a second time. Or will you? <sighs> I fear I lack the constitution to bear witness to such barbarism. Come find me when you're finished, Cutter. You'll regret this, Silas. Do you hear me? I'll have your head. No. I rather think you won't. From what I thought he was sticking the. <gasps> Knife in his nose. Quick little swipe and no more ears. How's that sound, Mr. Church? At least I'll be spared more of your mean crap. Hold still a minute. I got to decide where to start. Your parents must be smart. Good job. Hello. I was worried my ally wouldn't do the double assassination with me. Who? Who are you? Hatham Kenway, at your service. I don't understand. Well, why are you here? To all do things. And all will be explained. Don't, un uh, don't like, c cut his hands free or anything. Come, you almanac motherfucker. Just almanac floating through the wind. Such annoyance. Absolutely. Positively. Why? That is my stance on those things. So far. Like, sure, it makes it a dynamic... Like... Collectible, but... They're just kind of annoying to... Collect for the most part. So far, at least. They just seem to be extra annoying collectibles. They spawn randomly instead of being in a set place. Well, I guess technically they are in a set place, but they spawn in a random place in that place. And just makes it an annoyance to track down because they could just fly around like butterflies. It's just a weird type of collectible. They're like, ah, oh, let's do something different. Just have them be stationary. Like, I understand you'll want to do things interesting, but come on. You know, for a person so obsessed with taking over the world, Eggman spends a lot of his time outside of the planet's atmosphere. Well, of course, he has to look down on the world. Look over. Oh, is that... I think that's like leaves. I do like that the icon changes if you've synchronized or not. That is a nice touch. So far, my thoughts on this game are they've made a large amount of unnecessary changes to how gameplay works. Oh, I can't do the awesome kick. Fine. The awesome kick to like, ah, I shall grab from beyond. But yeah, so far that's like my main gripe is... They changed, like, the combat a lot. And, like, sure, they want to make it fresh, make it interesting, but... Why change it, The bu even the buttons? It just feels weird. Like, synchronization has been Y forever. Why change that? Why make countering B? They just change, 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 change. It's just weird. The only thing I missed is all the dungeons you explore. Yeah, because you actually did explore quite a few dungeons in, like, the Ezio trilogy, didn't you?
because there was like the crypts and like the Templar like uh, hideaways. They were interesting. Not sure if I'll super miss them myself or not. Mostly because I never really thought of them as like integral to the identity of Assassin's Creed or all that much. Courier, eh? Oh, dang it, I'm gonna die. Never mind, I will not die. But like, the occlusion from above, it's hard to see. It's like, where's the safe jumping point? And the courier got away, it seems. Unless maybe I can catch him, maybe. Nope, it seems he got away. Don you despawning man. But yeah, I'll have to keep a close eye on, like, the bonus objectives, see how they play out. See if you get anything for doing the almanacs or not. And just, like, other such things. And compare them to, like, revelations and such. I'll just need to get into more straightforward combat that isn't just like, ah, hey, we want you to do a specific thing in an annoying way, bleh. At least they gave you ample opportunity to shoot guys, so. That one wasn't terrible. And at least none of the bonus objectives have been terrible so far. We'll just have to wait and see. Hmm. And one of that is, ah, store. And a codex. Uh, I keep calling it codex page because that's what my brain is locked on. We'll bounce those two and then swing back around. That'll be very interesting. I wonder if there's even like a crime notoriety thing. I haven't noticed one yet, so it's possible that one doesn't exist in here. It is interesting to see how they capture the early settlements. Well, I guess not really early, but like the not yet American Revolution settlements. The UI is also interestingly different. Not in a bad way. Just overall, just trying to. That, oh, yeah. <laughs> See, that's another thing. Why did they make it be for synchronize? That's what you use to let go. That's a mad people. A part of me is wondering if a lot of these changes were just like, oh, but we have to make changes. Why? Because we have to make changes to justify everything. No, just make game good. Just make game good. That's all you have to do. And I see that they have added hill technology. Hill technology. The greatest innovation in Assassin's Creed history. I have no idea what this is, but we are going to climb it and sink on it. 
That's not exactly what I wanted, game. Can we sink from here? We cannot, but we can walk through. And now we're just going to walk back to the tavern. Now back we must go. Hmm, so far, yeah, it just feels like this is going slow. And odd. The opening so far just has felt odd. Like, I don't know. Compared to, like, the introduction to Altair and the introduction to Ezio, so far things have just felt a bit... A tad odd here. I don't know. I do not know. Hey, courier man. Your stuff is mine. It's not my fault you all walked into me while I was hunting a man down for his items. Like, ah, oh, you tackled a guy into us. We're gonna shove you. I steal from you. Piggly, piggly, diddly, dee. It is nice to at least be like a place that isn't like, that is one thing. The change in graphics does at least make this game stand out a lot more compared to, like, the past ones from the Ezio trilogy. That is at least something. Same one that you seek. Name of Silas Thatcher. We must kill him. Fancy lad is our slave, huh? Don't let his velvet tongue deceive you. A crueler and more vicious creature I've never known. What can you tell me of his operation? He hosts at least a hundred men. More than at half. least a hundred men. All this for some slaves? <laughs> Hardly. The man's a commander in the king's troop. Charge of the South Gate Fort. We, we must take the fort. Aside. Start the Revolutionary War. Think on it. Just to find meantime, an apple. I'll attend to our final recruit. John Pitcairn's our man. I'll take you to him. And I guess we will end by recruiting our final man, because we've been going for almost two excuse me, two and a half hours. The soldier. We also got teleported again. State your business. New recruit. More kindling for the fire, eh? Well, go on, then. How do you manage that? Did you forget, sir? My commission is with General Braddock. When I'm not attending to you, of course. We shall follow you. To Pitkan. And try to ignore the reflex shot indicator. Pitcairn, you fool! Drax has tricked me. Give me one good thing. I couldn't kill you right now. Were you planning to announce yourself? Or did you hope my men Sir, wouldn't notice your arrival? If you'll allow me to explain. Oh, oh, by all means. I should like very much to hear this. I have not deserted, sir. I am here under Commander Amherst's orders. Show me a letter bearing his seal, and you might be spared the gallows. I have Sounds like a jerk. The nature of my work, sir. It's, 
It's the sort of thing best not put to paper. Hey, Dylan. You know me. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Wolves often travel in packs. Master said Ken won't be here for a few weeks. I shall return him to his proper post once our work is finished. The devil's work, no doubt. It's bad enough my superiors have insisted. I grant you use of Charles. But they said nothing about this traitor. You'll not have him. At Listen to reason before I have to kill you. Done here. See these gentlemen out. Why does he have a silly little hat? Well, that didn't go as I expected. And to think I used to call him brother. What now? Well, they'll chase us off if we try and return. We're done with this camp. As luck would have it, so are they. Come along. What are you planning? To steal Master Pitcan. What? <laughs> You'll see. We shall steal him. Now. When I give the signal, you're to distract Braddock's patrol and lure them into a dead end. Tail his patrol and limit detection time to 15 seconds. I wonder what that means exactly. I wasn't even in the detection radius, and it's just like, ah, you're gonna be seen. Why do you have drums? So I just need to be careful of random stops. He took my position. How dare he? The cat was blocking me. This wide open street feels like a place they'd stop. Now what? You're gonna slap him? Oi! You'll see these scoundrels one and all! Boy on you and your false war! <laughs> I wonder what war they're talking about. <laughs> That's an amusing way to instigate it. Are we going to kill them? Unhand him, Edward. Uh, you again. Me again. Let us go. And John Pitt can with us. <laughs> I will not. Nor I, with wide eyes. In chains. I'm still trying to understand the parry to hold. Hold to parry. What do you mean prevent snitches from... That, that was new! Very rude of you to not like... Really announce that. That's a bit mean game. That had no... Announcement whatsoever. Game, let me have control of my camera, you piece of shit. Game has now stolen my camera like a dick.
and now it's giving it back. From what I can gather, Haytham is a Templar that is killing other Templars, and that is a spoiler, my dude. Why would you do that? Well, so far, yeah, like, I do not understand the uh, combat system they replaced the new one with. Everything is mapped to B, and it's just like, ah, do this, do this. It's like, I do not know how it functions. I need to get to, like, a... I just need to instigate a fight against, like, normal dudes. Try and get a grip on it, because, like, the tutorial was bad on that, because it, like, forced you into it and didn't really explain anything, and now it's still in my camera again. Why must you steal my camera game? <laughs> He's just ranting in the background. I'll explain everything on the way. He continued to rant even while we just were walking away. All right, I'm gonna find some guards. So I'm going to institute combat. I missed the last one because, like, ah, prevent the snitches from doing it. Like, no, at all, any kind of announcement on that front. Just suddenly, ah yes, you have failed. That's what it felt like, and that's just bad design. You need to introduce the new one. All right, I think. Okay, that's cool. That is cool. So if you get, like, a perfect parry. Alright, so it's, like, more of a combo. You need to press the proper buttons. Okay, okay. Understood. It's just, like, it just feels weird. They got rid of the necessity of holding down the high diddly D. The high action trigger. And just kind of made it more of a combo where you need to hit the counter button and then decide what you want to do with them that you've countered them. Which is kind of cool, but they desperately needed a better, like, tutorial on explaining the new counter system. The new combat system. They desperately... They needed, like... A Mario and Montagioni teaching you combat tutorial. Because that one, like, drilled it in. It's just like, here, here's how you do it. Do it three times. And just like, that is not at all what it felt like on that ship with Graves and Louis. It just did not feel good. And especially because they are coming off of, like, four games... Four games that used the same exact combat system and then just, like, tweaked it and improved it. They just changed it here. It's still similar, but, like, the specifics are uh, different, even though, like, the overall kind of vibe is the same. They desperately needed a better tutorial to explain how it all functions and goes down, in my opinion. Especially because, like, the tutorial on the ship just, like, didn't really do much. It basically said, hey, shit's different. Bing bong. Fuck your life. <laughs> that is what it felt like. Bing bong. I will trade with you because you are a traveling merchant and I have money, maybe. I can buy cartridges or smoke bombs. 
Interesting. I don't use smoke bombs. But interesting that there's just like peddlers who go out and about. I was wondering, just like, wait, if that's a shop, why is he moving? What sorcery is this? He's a witch! And because of the beggar children, my mind immediately leapt to, I wonder if I can shoot the beggar children. Ah, that's interesting. So yeah, I now I want to find like an isolated civilian and punch them. See if I lose synchronization. That's one thing that I'm kind of sad is just like the the HP is now a random bar, so you don't exactly know how much health you have, which is going to sad. They start checkpoint music is broken. Oh, is that why it's been droning? I kind of noticed that the music has kind of been samey. But, and I'm not in a mission, so I can't... Well, I can leave the Animus. The viewpoint music is playing on loop. That's hilarious. Well, I guess I'll leave the Animus. It's the closest thing to a checkpoint I have. I did notice, but didn't comment on, like, hey, the things are kind of... That droning music is just here perpetually, isn't it? I wonder what that's about. Hmm, that's kind of weird. But I, otherwise, I didn't, like, acknowledge it all that much. And besides, we can jump into these emails. <laughs> Thank you for pointing that out. I didn't notice. I just thought that the music was very samey. <laughs> hey, oh, had a little bit of downtime while you were gone, so I figured I'd do what I could up... Uh, could do to upgrade the operating system. It's actually been really uh, ready for a little while now, but with the Animus in safe mode, I wasn't about to try an installation. Things I did, actually it should be we, since I had a few people in the other cells chip in. Modifications to targeting system, you should be able to move in and out of combat more easily. Free running improvements, you're less likely to jump at the wrong time in the wrong direction. <laughs> it's like in-universe patch notes. Only one input for interacting with the world. No more choosing between parts of your ancestor's body. I kind of miss that, because I'm used to it. So you're like, ah, it's one, but now it's like, ah, synchronize or drop. You can assassinate while moving now. Definitely try it out ASAP. You can pick up weapons on the go as well. We implemented a weather system, rain, snow, wind. It's all there. Animals, enough said. Faster, fast travel. Just open your map, and you can instantly travel to any unlocked fast travel location. Yeah, this literally just is in universe patch notes. Revamp the map and now provides a lot more additional information. <laughs> Quit uh, menu, then resume. It happens every time you climb a viewpoint. That's that's annoying. This game has no background music. Well, isn't that wonderful? First of all, welcome back. It's good to see you finally recovered. Can't imagine what it was like for you, trapped in there. If you ever want to chat about it, just let me know. Anyway, you'll find the database essentially unchanged, aside from a few cosmetic upgrades. As before, you'll receive a notification when I've added a new entry. I'll also let you know if any of the entries are updated, as is often the case when dealing with these conspiratorial ancestors of yours. And uh, John Delancey. I know it's easy to get distracted while inside the Animus, but I'm hoping everyone can stay focused here. We need to find that key as soon as possible. Also, do not go exploring the temple without first clearing it with me. And carry your headsets with you at all times. Can't afford to lose anyone because curiosity got the better of them. We're shorthanded as is. Workarounds are, quit the game to menu. Ah, yeah, my throat just bleh, betrayed me. <coughs> Sorry. Workarounds are, quit game to menu and load back in, climb down from the viewpoint instead of jumping from Leaf of Faith, or during Leap of Faith, the... Uh, from the viewpoint, open the map screen mid-fall. That's weird. And they haven't fixed that. That's very weird. <laughs> Sean Hastings, balls. We've got a visitor down here. It's Juno. She's been appearing every now and then. Sort of flits through the air. Reminds us to guard you well, find the key, blah, blah. And then poof, disappears. At first we thought it was just another holographic recording. 
But then your father called her some rather choice words, and she glared at him. Honest, swivelled those eyes, his direction and frowned. Creeped me out. I don't know if she's react reaching out to us from the past, if some part of her is actually still conscious, or if maybe she's inside the apple like some evil genie. Whatever it is, gives me the creeps. And on that note, happy Halloween! Timing. Sean Hastings, Hatham's Amulet. Though I suppose Hathen's Amulet is technically a piece of Eden, it's not particularly exciting. It functions as a key, and well, that's about it. I know, I know, we're all used to things being incredibly powerful, and thus rather dangerous. But this one is neither. Is it weird I'm disappointed? That said, it's still critical to our mission, so I suppose that counts for something. We'll quickly jump in and see if that fixed the music, but if not, I'll... Definitely keep in mind the quit to menu, then load back in, but that is so weird. So, I will try the workaround of uh, opening the map mid-fall then. But yeah, I was wondering what that droning music was in the back of my mind. I'm just like, hmm, this one soundtrack has been played a lot. But I didn't really comment on it. <laughs> I didn't know. That's hilarious, in a very sad way. Especially because, like, the music in most Assassin's Creed games is actually pretty good. I assume that the droning is back because we're climbing. Alright. Synchronize. Open map while falling. Keep that in mind. But that is... That is a weird glitch. Now let's see. See if that fixes it, or if, if it's there forever. And... Nope, I think it's still there. Well, I guess I will take this opportunity to activate the last remaining ones, <laughs> so that way we won't be tempted to synchronize and have the soundtrack butchered. That's so weird. This is such a weird glitch, but okie dokie. But that is also hilarious. <laughs> Part of me goes, it's like, ah, one person really liked the synchronization soundtrack. So it's like, I'm going to make it override everything. People will listen to my favorite soundtrack and nothing else. The inside job of a lifetime. Now I also want to know if this glitch was in the original Assassin's Creed 3, or if this is a brand new thing specifically for Remastered. I could buy either. A glitch that just was never touched for like a decade. Or, or a glitch randomly introduced. Brand new into a remaster that is, from what I hear, barely a remaster and in some places a downgrade. So yeah, I think the go-to thing now will be get to a point, do all the synchronizations in an area, and then reload. <laughs> Randomly introduced in the remaster, that is so stupid and hilarious. Jesus Christ, Ubisoft. <laughs> the OG game never had this problem. That is hilarious. How do you even do that? <laughs> How is a graphic remaster screw up the music? What trigger did they break? <laughs> Unless they changed other things mildly to justify it being a remaster, they just put their grubby hands all over this game. But that's so stupid and hilarious. They just randomly broke things. Uh... I would like to climb. It is a window! Why can I not climb? That is silly. <laughs> Just boxes that are perfect for climbing. And then the game goes, no. You don't get to climb from the perfectly placed boxes. The, to be honest, the OG game is way better, even graphically. I at least prefer the original art style. I would have played the original game if 
the, like, I guess I could if I really wanted to, because I do have the original game, I just don't have the Washington DLC. So I guess I could if I really wanted to just play back up to this point in the original game in my own time and see if, like, it has any weird things, because, uh, like, the Ezio trilogy on PC had weird, like, technical things about out and about. But, yeah, so I might look into that, maybe? And then I'll just come back to this w version to play Liberation and then the ki ki Tyranny of King George, because they took away the original game off Steam before I could buy that one. But that is just so stupid. It's a graphical remaster. How did you mess up a trigger in regards to the music, apparently? But I have felt like the game seems, like, a bit odd graphically. Like, I don't know, some things are odd here or there. Hello, friend! Uh, tackle you, give me your things. Oh, the OG game also has a few issues. You gotta cap the FPS to 70 or 80, the remaster also has issues. Yeah, that seems to be it. It's like a pick your poison. What odd things do you want to happen in your game? So who knows? Makes me wonder if there's an unofficial <laughs> patch like Bethesda games always get for this game. Probably not. But who knows? But that's just so weird. <laughs> like, overall, my first impression of her playing this game for like almost three hours and having never played it before or the original version before is it's interesting. But everything is just a little weird. The combat is a little weird. The character models, a little weird. The overall, like, story introduction and flow, a little weird. Maybe it'll tighten up as I play the game. We'll have to wait and see. But yeah, double thank you for telling me about the glitch. I would have legitimately never noticed. I just would have gone like her. Well, it, it seems like the uh, the soundtrack is a big downgrade compared to previous entries in the franchise. I would not have questioned it even once. They added a new lighting system, but it doesn't really fit the art style. The original art team would calibrate the lighting scene by scene to make it the best possible. Well, that's sad. They're just like slapdash new things like, oh, new lighting. It has to be good. It's kind of lazy and mean. That's why some scenes are way too dark or washed out. I knew that the, like, the opera house was weird at certain points. Like, the lighting. Eh. I just thought that my brightness settings were messed up. But yeah. I guess, what do you expect? It's, it's an Ubisoft game. <laughs> That's so weird. But yeah, definitely going to keep this in mind. First thing I do when I enter a new area, synchronize everything so we can just ignore this issue as much as possible. Uh, don't forget this game was made back in 2012 when Ubisoft wasn't so lazy. The remaster is lazy, though. Yeah, I could see like, uh, this was made in 2012? I could have sworn. No. I, I could have sworn that like, because let's see. No, I guess, I guess that makes sense, yeah. Maybe. Huh. My brain just didn't want to, didn't want to accept that for a moment. My brain was just like, no, 2012, that's more of like the Ezio era. This had to be like 13 or 14, but no, I guess that makes sense, wow. This is over, well, the original game, over 10 years old. And then the remaster is only like a handful of years old. And I do remember it getting just a lot of bashing, making the graphics look worse in some locations, and basically being obtuse and weird. And again, annoys me, because I had the original one, I just didn't have the DLC. Makes me wonder what, like, the original game then had in terms of issues.
Let's see, is that all of them? Kind of interesting that they don't, like, automatically reveal everything, which is kind of interesting. And not all that bad. But, I do believe that that will be it for now. We've gone for three hours, we gathered up our conspiracy, and uh, I don't know when we're going to introduce Connor, maybe after we save some slaves? I don't know. But, yeah, I don't know where this is going, like, ancestor storyline-wise, I don't know what the story's going to be, and I am very interested. I wonder how... Pathway and Connor are going to be, like, as characters compared to, like, Ezio and Altair. That'll be interesting to explore. And I wonder if they're go there's going to be, like, other collectibles, because the Almanac is, like, a weird collectible. And I'm I need to get used to the combat. <laughs> That's changed up. So, yeah, it's very interesting and weird. But nothing really bad, except for that one bonus objective that was thrown in randomly at the end of the last minute, uh, the last mission, and just wasn't announced at all. Where it's just like, ah, stop the snitches from getting re reinforcements. And I just didn't even know that existed, so I failed that one. It just, I kind of missed the days of one bonus objective that I could focus on throughout the entire <laughs> mission. Uh, please, for the love of God, do the homestead missions. They are essential to flesh out Connor. If you don't, then you'll end the game with a sour taste and feeling that Connor is a dull character. Understood. Homestead missions are very important. Like, I try to do a bunch of side quests as much as possible, unless I just absolutely grow sick and tired of them. Like, I... Like, in, a, in Brotherhood, I grew sick and tired of the game in general most of the way through, so I stopped doing a bunch of side quests past a certain point because I just felt like all the side quests didn't mean anything. But if the side quests feel tangible, I will try to do them. So I'll keep a special care for the Homestead missions to really get a taste for Connor as a character then. But yeah, it'll be very interesting to explore this game, then revamped... Things like pickpocketing is different now. That's pretty neat. Lockpicking is apparently a mechanic, but probably contextual for missions and not just a random thing you can do. And yeah, it'll just be very interesting to explore this new game. Even if it's... At least it's been interesting. It hasn't been all that, like, boring. Slight annoyance from me not understanding, like, the combat mechanics as they change that, but... And, like, like, like I said, that one bonus objective being thrown in without announcement, but nothing terrible so far. And plus, I don't even know what full synchronization does. I might have to look that up. Because, like, full synchronization depends, like, what I get out of it. Like, what do I get for doing all the bonus objectives? Because, like, as much as I dislike the bonus objectives of Brotherhood, at least the Christina missions were, like, the best thing in that game. So that kind of made it worth it to suffer? I don't know. But, yeah. So far, interesting. And can't wait to experience more interesting as I try to come to grips with the gameplay. But, yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, I have two YouTube channels, Neon Icy Wings for edited content and scripted content. I need to buckle down and make that, but brain has been evil and life has been hectic. And then the gaming channel, Neon Icy Games, for live streams and just general gaming content uploads. And then if you prefer to watch me play games live on Twitch, you can follow me on twitch.tv slash neonicywings. Other such things that you can find me with on various sites is art, like my little man in the corner. So if you want more art from me, you can see me post on various sites like Twitter, Tumblr, DeviantArt, Newgrounds, Pillowfort, Inkblot, so many sites. Which is why links to all of them can be found in my link tree. linktr.ee slash neonicywings. 
Also in my link tree is writing that I do, because writing can be fun. So if you want to read stories that I do rot, links can be found there. And also, if you want to be kind and help a poor soul in these dark times, a link to my Patreon is also there if you want to throw a dollary do my way. New grounds? Yes, also new grounds. I p so many sites that I post to. I just kind of go on autopilot, fall go down my own link tree to be like, oh yeah, and like Blue Sky. I'm also on Blue Sky. I just can't name them all because they're all so many. <laughs> and all of them are like, again, might be slightly different. So links directly in my link tree. And also my link tree can be found in link places like descriptions, bios, and just link slots across all the sites. Internet is difficult. <laughs> Wasn't Newgrounds a hentai site? No. Uh, it's just that a lot of people did post porn there and do post porn. But you can filter that out if you don't like porn. Which is nice. Options and self-filtering. But I think that's everything. Yep, my YouTube channels, my Twitch channel, my art channels, my writing, and my Patreon. All of which can be found through my link tree. But yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody, and I hope to see you dudes next time. <laughs> I only knew Durpixion, to be honest. Yeah, fair. <laughs> People have their own internet circles. But I shall see you dudes next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>